the bone. Got a Christian that's vaccinated, that's sedated. But we out here giving the antidote. Got a cure for your dead or disease. And STDs have a dose. We was built for the battle, just pass me the scapula. We can go under the microscope. I approach is full of finesse. By the science, he under the rest. Heart is beating, just look at his chest. Cardiac, he under arrest. My people, they needing that medicine. They sleeping, they needing the sedatives. Seize a bow to ease the pain. I need some more hope. Just a cold will do it like this. All bands on the wrist. Cut the sin like a sis. And my God in the mist. Put the scripts in the mix. Twofold like a Twix and switch the lips. But it's bitter to the belly. All in and it's heavy. Clean cuts, no machete. Cure, come and get ready. Hold on. Oh, wow, Jerusalem. Trying to die. Listen, bro. Listen. I'm also over there. To my right, I got Officer Baruch. Hey, to my left, I got Officer Zarai. To my far right, Officer Who's down? To my far left, Officer You Who Can Now. Hey, hey, y'all know what to do, bro. Y'all know what to do. This is Cure the Culture. Culture. I'm telling you, man. Listen, we just come back from a journey. You know, had a, a great opportunity to build around, you know, um, leaders, man. Bring it up. Be around leaders, bro. Uh, leaders of the world, you know. Of our, our culture, our heritage, which is God's law, statutes, and commandments. Wait a minute, you might not believe that. So let's get that in Sirach. What's that, Sirach 17, 17? That's what I want? Yes, sir. Sirach 17, 11, 17? What that is, bro? You know what I'm talking about? You know the heritage? Yeah. Yes, sir, I got you. The book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Read it. Besides this, uh -huh. he gave them knowledge. He gave us <clears throat> knowledge. And the law of life. And the law of life. For an heritage. For an heritage. That's our heritage right there. That's our culture. That's our custom is keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. So when you hear us say curing the culture, we're curing our heritage. We're curing our customs because we have been become accustomed or assimilated to this world that's around us, you know? Yes, sir. You have something you want to say real fast? Nah, it's, it's just kind of, you, you right on point with that, officer. We, um, we sick as a people because we have gone into the... The sickness of the other nations, like you look at the, you look at certain, like we got laws about what we should eat, right? Right, right. Other people they don't get sick from mm -hmm. eat, consuming these unclean Man, food, but for some reason they live like to be 120 years <laughs> old, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, eating uh, uh, raw oysters and, mm -hmm. and uh, octopus. Damn. And man. I seen a lady eating octopus, man. Uh, eat, uh, a Moabite lady. It was still trying to crawl yeah. out of mouth. All boy, ain't no way, boy. But these people they tend to live a long time because. This is not their culture exactly. uh, of eating clean food. The most I gave them, God. Go ahead, bro. But now that's it. That's it, officer. All praise to the most high. Hey, man, read our scripture, bro, uh, before we get to heaven to it. Then I want you to pull that other scripture. Uh, but read this scripture, bro, Jeremiah 33. Let's get that real fast. Bro. Yes, sir. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 6. This, this scripture we always read, you know, because we always trying to cure our culture, man. This is just something that we read on every time we come on. We usually read this scripture close. Our people need this cure. Our people need this healing. Our people need this peace, man. Read that scripture, bro. Behold, I will bring in health and uh -huh. cure. So the most I say he's going to bring in health. And we understand that that health, like Officer Rao was just talking about, a lot of times the food that we deal with, that's killing us. That's not our culture. Message. To eat our clean food. So we need that health. We need that, that physical health, and we need that mental health. And that spiritual health, and this all comes from the Most High's word. But keep reading, bro. And I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. So, and that's one thing that we haven't had as a people is this this health and abundance of peace and truth. Because we catch hell here. Sure we catch do. hell here at this place. We catch hell. This is our captivity. And a lot of times, our people really don't understand that this is not your rest. Read, read, out. read that in Micah four and ten. The book of Micah, chapter 4, verse 10. Uh -huh. Be in pain uh -huh. and labor. So the scripture said we got to be in pain. Listen, you might not get the sleep that you normally used to having because we're trying to get out of here. I hate this place. Right. I hate this place. Yeah. We got to get the hell up out of here. So That's a lot right. of times, you might not get the rest that you think you deserve or you think you need because the scripture said we got to be in pain and what? And labor. labor. And labor. You got to work. There's work to be done around this world. 
to help get our people out of this degradation that we living in, this this so-called culture that we're supposed to have. We got to teach our people to come back and keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. We got to gather together. That's our only way out. Keep reading. Be in pain and labor uh -huh. to bring forth, O daughter of Zion. To bring forth who? O daughter of Zion. We're trying to bring forth the daughters of the daughter of Zion, the twelve tribes of Israel. Keep reading. Like a woman in travail. Like a woman in travail. Read. For now shall thou go forth out of the city. That's what we want to do. Go forth out of this city, out of this this Babylon the Great. Keep reading. And thou shalt dwell in the field. Uh huh. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. Uh huh. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. The Bible said the Lord going to redeem us from the hand of our enemies. So we got to be in pain. We got to be in labor. What scripture said this at our risk? Michael 2 and 10. Read, read, that, read Michael 2 and 10 real fast too. I'll pray to the most. The book of Michael chapter 2 verse 10. Read read up. Up. Arise ye and depart. The, bit, the scripture say do what? Arise ye and depart. The scripture say arise and depart. We got to leave this place. And we ain't talking about physical leaving. We got to leave this, this place mentally. Because this place has a, a vice grip on our people's mind, on our people's heart. It's got a vice grip on them. That's why they're celebrating Christmas and Thanksgiving and New Year. That's why they're getting on the internet twerking on top of Pizza Hut. Because of this sick. vice that they got on. It says arise and depart. Did, do what? Read, keep reading. Arise ye and depart. Uh huh. For this is not your rest. This ain't our rest. This is not our rest. We know that we're going to get our rest when we get the kingdom. That's why we got to be in pain and we got to labor to bring forth this truth. That's right. Y'all got anything else on that, man, before we move on? All Let's praise, go, all sir. praise. Bring it out. All praise to the most high. Well, listen. Listen, we got a great show for you today. We, um, we're we going to be talking about some very important topics today. But at the same time, we always got to give our people the healing, the cure, um, and we got to, <laughs> I don't know how to really put this. Um, <laughs> Bring it out. Make it, make, make, make it, it plain. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to just show the video. <laughs> but they need the hospital. Yeah. They <laughs> need the emergency room. Come on, bring the emergency room in, bro. <laughs> In the emergency room. I want you to pull up that first thing, bro. Pull up that first one. Uh, did you put it in there? Yes, sir. You put the emergency room on. This is bad. Okay. This All is right. Very bad. All right. Listen. I I was telling like the language. group. I really and it's gonna be some terrible language. Right. So get your kids out the room or whatever. Um, it may be some. It's some tough language. But I really didn't know how to introduce this. But I know. This and that's why I said they, these people need the emergency room because I want y'all to listen to this and and let's play it, man. Play it. Let's give them some help. Play it, bro. Shakana, do you like me? I like to get by me because I don't want to. I don't want to bop cats. But you, uh, could, you know you could because you know that's just a taboo thing. If you did want to bump cats, that you can get a, a woman could strap on and tear you up. Huh? I let you. Well, I don't need a strap on to do that. And what I'm trying to say, because I don't want to fit no strap. I want to fit the real meat. So me and girls don't get along because they don't have the real meat. I just feel like that I've been propositioned by my sister to, to, <laughs> to tell her sugar walls up. Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm aging now. I'm getting older. So Come this means I'm, I'm, I'm really am not opposed to trying new things. You ain't. No, well, not let's, before. Have, let's go in on the baby. You know what? Our baby would look alike if we had a baby Yeah, together. that baby be cute. Which one does? Sister, don't play with me, girl. Don't you play with me. That'll be big. Girl, we'll I, just, all I, I, don't even need, I don't think I need a Viagra no more. We'll tell the nation up, though. They don't know what the fuck to do with that. Man. Yeah, the, baby, the baby got two moms. But, but, well, let's talk about a Viagra. Well, Say it ain't so. Okay. Say it ain't so. I mean, I told you. I really didn't know how to introduce this, but I do understand that there's some help needs. Man, give me that second age of five, bro. Second age of five. That's what I want. Second age of five. Uh, Mistress women bringing forth children, man. Yes, Monsters. Yes, sir. Cause the woman said that they was gonna have a well. And I say the woman, but that wasn't a woman. That was a man dressed up like a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm talking about he he aging. Now she ate. Anyway, read this, man. That that was a man. 
That yeah. was a man. That Damn. was that was a man. That was your boy, man, bro. That was that your boy. Was, that was these people names. You, y'all know these people? The uh, the, the devil. The I sister, the Shekinah. The Shekinah. She used to be on the show with uh, Ti. Ti, yeah, that's yeah. Ti White home. That's mm-hmm. Tiny Home Girl mm-hmm. off their TV show. So yeah. she talking about having. She won't. She don't want no plastic or uh, what you call that uh, silicone. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She want a man. Right. But she talking to this person that seems to be a woman, yeah. but evidently he's a what? A man. Right. A man. He a man. He's a transform. He done transformed over there. Yeah. And not in a good way. Pull the scripture, bro. Let me read the scripture. Then I'm going to let y'all have it, man. I'm going to lean back on this thing. Read that. Second Ezra, chapter 5, verse 8. Read right. There shall be a confusion also in many places. Now listen. What's that confusion, brothers? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. yeah. That That's was confusion. confusion. That was confusion. The scripture ain't gonna be confusing in many places. Damn. Keep reading. Yeah. And the fires to be offset out again. Uh huh. And wild and the wild beast. Man, listen, I think that was a wild beast. <laughs> that's it. That was a wild the wild beast gonna do what? Shall change their places. They change in places. That that man, if I'm not mistaken, he, he had breasts, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah he had, has literally changed every part, portion of himself except for his reproductive. Right. Re- is reproductive. Yeah. Right. Man, that's confusion. That's confusion. Let's say if he did a crime and he had to go to jail or whatever. Where they going to put him at? Bruh. Oh, they putting him with, with me in that. They no, putting him in jail. No, pop. no, they putting him over there with the women. For real? That's what they doing now, yes. Oh, if man. you go to jail and you call yourself transgender, by law, they have to put you in protective custody and then they put you with the women. There are There are cases right now well, you have pregnant inmates pregnant by people that look like that. The hell is wow. this? Dang. Bruh. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bruh. Hey, you die. Read it to your mic, bruh. Read the scripture again, man. <laughs> yes. There should be a confusion also in many places. You, you in the mic, bruh? Yes. Keep reading. And the fire should be offset out again. Uh-huh. And the wild beast shall change their places. The, the what? And the wild beast shall change their places. The wild beast. Shall change their places. Keep reading. And mistress women, mistress women, shall bring forth monsters. Gonna bring forth what? Monsters. Monsters. That's what we see in today. That's what we see in today's time is monsters. And listen, they said that they was gonna have a baby and that was gonna look like them. So we got one man that has female parts, some of them female parts. So he half man and half woman. He all man. I don't care what you say, but Damn. but what he's showing himself to be is half man and half woman, right. mm-hmm. and they gonna have a baby together with a woman that don't mind being with a half man, half woman, they, and they want real. and they yeah and they gonna have children. This is what sick. kind of child they gonna have? A monster. A monster. Man, it's society. Can I, can I he jump? said he 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 or she whichever whichever <laughs> you want to call it because this is confusion said that. Um, our babies is gonna basically take over the world, you know. Going, mm-hmm. what the hell is that? She said the uh, the sister said the uh, they gonna mess the nation up. She gonna f the nation up. With That's that. exactly what it is. Hey, play the last part <laughs> of that video. I want you to play the last part of that video, and let's listen to what this sister said about the child, or what her and this whatever this was, this confusion was gonna have together, and what it was gonna do. Play the last video. Play the last part of that video. Can you do that? No, well, not let's, go, let's go in on the baby. You know what our baby would look like if we had a baby. Yeah, together. the baby be cute. Which one does? Sister, don't play with me, girl. Don't you play with me? That'll be big. Girl, you I just I, all I, I don't even need. I don't you, think I need you, a baby. You hear what she said? We gonna tear this nation up. Damn. That's literal. Yeah, that's I, literal. I yeah. don't want one scripture get on it, that. Get it, bro. It's the Rock 25 and 24. Yeah. I firmly believe this is what this is one of the reasons why this scripture say mm-hmm. what it say. Right. She said we gonna mess the nation up, and not and and we just not we not even gonna talk about America. Right. This is little. This our can nation. destroy our nation, our culture, our yeah. culture. Yep. Read that. The Book of Sirach, chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-four. Uh-huh. Of the woman. Of who? Of the woman. Of the woman. You see how the woman was in consent, full consent with this madness. Read. Came the beginning of sin. Came the beginning of sin. I thought you read Wisdom of Solomon 14. That that same sin goes into the changing of kind, like what we see. Right? Watch this though. What what happened when that when the woman when, when all this go down from the woman? Read that. And through her, uh-huh. we all die. Did she say she was gonna mess the nation up? That's what she said. Yeah, through she her, we said. all die. 
That's what that's listen. You know what we used to say. Man, don't listen, listen to, to black, black women. women. Hey. Don't listen to that sister, man. Especially when they on there talking to uh Transformers. Man, <laughs> that's man, that's crazy, bro. Damn, hey, do they, do they have a um do we, they, they got a heartbeat or something in this joint, man? I don't, I don't know, man. They, 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 they were flatlined when they came in there. Yes, they, yes. they had no post when they came in. Listen, give me that. Give me, give me that. Hold up before we go. I, I got to read the scripture, man. Give me that in Ezekiel uh, 35. Can he both live? Give me that. Give me that, bro. Because I, I need y'all to see something. This is crazy. You know what I want to, uh, soldier? Yes, sir. The, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 3. Read it Start at verse 1, boy. Verse bro. 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me uh -huh. and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Read that. and set me down in the midst of the valley, uh -huh. which was full of bones. So the valley is full of bones. Keep reading. And caused me to pass by them round about. Uh -huh. And behold, there was very many in, in the open valley. Uh -huh. And lo, they were very dry. That's what we seeing right now, man. Them some dry bones we see up there. Them is dry bones. Mm. This is what our forefather Ezekiel saw. When the Most High was sitting them down in that valley, showing them his people. Man. That's us. We the dry bones. Keep reading. And he said unto me, uh -huh. son of man, can these bones live? So he said, hey, Zeke, hey, listen. Can these bones live? And that's what we trying to figure out. We got this, whoever this is in the emergency room, trying to figure out, can they live? Read. And I answered, O oh Lord God. Thou knowest. Hey, Ezekiel, like, oh Lord God. <laughs> you, know, you know. And that's where I'm feeling right now. We looking for a heartbeat in the emergency room. Can these bones live? Keep reading. Verse 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones, uh -huh. and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. That's what we're doing right here in the emergency room. We're saying, listen, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Keep reading. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. So all praise to the Most High. We're going to prophesy to these bones. Lord willing, they live. That's like my brother Ezekiel said. The Lord said, hey, can these bones live? Hey, only thou knows. So That's all right. praise all to praise. the Most High. Go ahead with your hey, scripture. Hey, man, no. Hey, I just I just sent y'all something. Pull up. Cause remember I was telling y'all about the law that they just put. I, I just sent it down there. Now, if this dude here committed a crime and went to jail, he could go and say, you know what? No, yeah, I'm a man at the bottom, but my mind tells me I'm a woman. So put me in there with the women. And it's a law that says he can request that, and guess what they're going to do? The Amalekites, they're going to say, yeah, put him over there with the women. Mm. So he can go in there and destroy. Hey, watch this. Pull that up and read that right there. What is the transgender policy in jail? Senate Bill 132, a new law which took effect January 1st, 2021, allows incarcerated transgender, transgender, non-binary, and intersex people to request to be housed and searched in a manner consistent with their gender identity. So it don't matter what you really is. It don't matter. You can go in there and say, you know what, hey, man, look, I'm a female in my mind. Put me over there with the women. The and this? they'll put you over there. Now they, and now it's cases right now where they men have done that, and over there raping women in jail, violating right. our sisters, <clears throat> all because of that. Now hey, let me get Romans one and twenty six. Read it out. Because what you see, this brother has been given over to this vile affection, and the sister, uh, I think her name is Shekinah, she, her too. She said, "Let's go have one a baby." But right this is a that, sick Negro. You say. I don't like women. Well, damn. <laughs> make it make sense. You can't, you can't make it you make can't. sense. Exactly. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So we use that to, you know, to speak on uh, you know, homosexuality and lesbianism. But that vile affection goes into what we see in here. Mm -hmm. To what we see in here. Man, it's, this is mind-blowing. This is crazy. We are sick people. Right. You know, look, I, I got every part of me that it's going to take to violate my sisters and destroy my race, but I look like a woman. I'm taking hormones like a woman. And that right there, until... 
you lift up that skirt, that'll go for a woman. Mm-hmm. Well, That's, you, we know, everybody was unbeknownst to the, un, to the fact that that was a man until right. he said it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Man, that's crazy. That's all I got. That's that's crazy. I just wanted to get uh, the law of Deuteronomy twenty two and five. Lord, bring it out. Bring it out. Because you brought out last week with the, with the sisters in the pants and the brothers on the other side. We 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 saw a problem with the brothers, but 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 the majority don't see a problem with the sisters in the pants, right? Hey, right, right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty two, verse five. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man put on a woman's garment. So guess what? That brother, he he's he's full blown into it. He got on the woman's garment. He got on the woman's heels. <laughs> he went to Esau and got the woman's and, and got some fake woman breasts. He got and they was huge. They, he didn't get, <laughs> well, you know, and, and, the, and the thing I, I reckon, you oh, know, friend. and right. I, I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. Like, okay, if uh. When a man and a woman gets married, a lot of times, you know, the way the Bible prescribes that they get married, she young. He deserved to see her right. perky, yeah. mm-hmm. um, I'm trying to, mammary <laughs> glands. Can I say that? Can I say yes. mammary glands? They should call it mini cons. Yeah, yeah, de- yeah. yeah, he deserved to see that. Right. With this man that wants to be a woman, when it got some, like, he done, he done had... You know, three children or something, four or five children. Yeah. Right. And he got some big, huge breasts that hang down to his stomach. Yeah. That's crazy. Why is that? Can't feed no babies. No. Why would you need those huge mammary glands like that? Deception. Signal. But go ahead, I'll score this because this is all confusion. Right. Go ahead. Go, go ahead, finish it up. For all that do so. Read again, read again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So that's that's the depths that we go to. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So that brother don't know that he's abomination to God. One more. Go to Psalm 106. Bring it out. Verse bro. 39. Bring it out. Bring it out. So bro. our people don't see that that's an abomination. And like you said, the number one supporter is who you see on the screen. The black, black, black woman. women. Yeah. Damn. Evil black women be the number one supporter. So and you said that that was... T.I. Wives? No, that's his, uh, her, her friend, her best friend. So T.I. Wives. Uh, the one who can't control her son. Right, yeah. right. Got King the little mama. boy, King right. Mama. Right. Yeah. And T.I., he's a known rapper. Yeah. Right. That's his wife's best friend. Yeah. yeah. You know Bruh. what she into. Bruh. Yeah. You can't make this mm-hmm. up, man. Right, right, you can't make it up. Man, man. they know what the script to say, don't it? All flesh can sold up to his kind. Read it. Go ahead, bro. The book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 39. Read it up. Thus were they defiled with their own works. You see that? They were defiled with their own works. That, that brother's defiled. That brother got, he got, Lord, that, y'all yeah, saw it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Read on. Yeah, and went a whoring with their own inventions. You see, it said we went a whoring with their own inventions. That brother went a whoring. He went all the way into it. Sure not, just, not just putting on a dress. He wanted the wig. He wants the lips. He wants the eyes. He wants the face. He wants the the breast. He wants he wants the whole entire look. Right. That's going to whoring into your idols. Read or your inventions. Read on. Verse forty. Therefore, was the wrath of the Lord kindled so against the, so his, the wrath of the Lord was kindled. Read against his people. Read and so much that he abhorred his own inheritance. You, you see that the Lord abhorred his own. Can you put the picture back up? Is it possible just to put the picture back up? Don't play it. Just put the picture back up. Put it back on the screen and read that again. Just, just stop right there. Just stop right there. Put it on the screen. Read that part again. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people. Go ahead. And so much that he abhorred his own inheritance. You see that? But our people don't see a problem with that. But the Lord say, we go to that length. The Lord say he abhorred his own inheritance. Man. Because, I, one more, Isaiah 65, 15. Isaiah 65, verse 15. Give them some help, bro. Give them some help, man. They need, they, is there a heartbeat out there? They still have uh, a heartbeat? They, they came in fat hey, line. Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. We got to get them back no, alive, bro. No, man, look. Can these bones live, bro? Not can them. They, they running from the cue. They running from it. Right. 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 He running from it. Play the song, then. Play the song. Bro. Let it go. Let them roll it. Bro, they don't want the help. Look, keep on playing the song. Keep, keep on playing the song. <laughs> Where they running from? Running, boy. Give them a They running from me. Oh, man. They running from me. Like Jonathan Majors, ain't 
Yeah. Yeah. Like Jonathan, like Jonathan Majors. Majors. Exactly. White girl. <laughs> bro. He gone. He gone, bro. I don't, I don't see it. I, man, man, listen. Only, that I know it. <laughs> that, that's what, that was, praise, that's what Ezekiel told the most. Yeah. Can he yeah. on this? Hey, listen. Yeah. That I know it. <laughs> I don't know. Don't look like it to me. Uh, man, look, he running. Go ahead and put your screen. Hey, read bro. that last bit for me. I'll be done. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. Read it out. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So th that's the reason, that's one of the reasons why we left our name for a curse because the, if, if, if you teach your child something, if you raise your children a certain way and they do something totally outside of what you taught them to do, you're like, who is this? Who, who, who is this? I didn't raise this person. Say, the, the most I say, I planted you a noble vine. Put the picture back up. <laughs> Put the picture on the screen. Hey, pull that scripture. What's that, Jeremiah? Pull that Jeremiah, bro, real fast, bro. Pull that. Read that scripture. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 21. Uh -huh. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. So the most I pull the picture up. Pull the picture up. Take me down here. Pull the picture up. I want a picture with both of them. And yeah, well, you can have both of them because both of them need this. Right. Yeah. Sure do. This help. Right there. Read the scripture. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. The most I said he planted us a noble vine. Read. Holy, a right seed. We was planted holy, a right seed. And the only way we can be that is as long as we're keeping God's laws, statutes, commandments, and the faith of Christ. But we see clearly that that's not doing that. I blame this on Christianity. Right. Keep reading. Yeah. How then are that turned into the degenerate plant? The most I said we don't turn into a degenerate plant. This is what you're saying. A degenerate plant. Our brothers... Whatever you call yourself, whatever your pronoun, <laughs> yeah. I hope y'all see this and was able to come back and keep God's commandments. Uh, you had anything else on that on that scripture? No, no I just was gonna say uh, uh, it's a, it's sad. An Edomite brought that one time. If that person would get the if that person would have some type of medical breakdown, right, and they would call the ambulance. You know, I said, I said that wrong. Whatever, whatever. Right. Anyway, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We know what you're talking hey, about. Hey, they they, 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 they call. They, they in the emergency yeah. room right now. <laughs> they in the emergency <laughs> room. So if that person needs some type of medical attention, we trying to give it to and him. And you got to the scene, and that man said, "I was having a miscarriage." You wouldn't take him for a miscarriage. Hell no. Because he ain't got the tools to be able to help a miscarriage. Bro, can these bones live, bro? Hey. Y'all know it's only the <laughs> Lord. Bro. Let me, you know what? Let me, let me, let me say this. Let me, let me walk something back right quick. Roll it back, bro. The brother, he still got the parts to plant the seed. So there is a possibility for repentance because he can who? get he can get the fake breasts. He can get those removed. He can take off the makeup. He can take off the wig. There is a possibility for this this man to look like a man again and to perform the the act of planting the seed because he ain't got nothing chopped off. Yeah. So there is a possibility. I, personally, I think he's running from it. But you're right. There might be a slight little doom. Bro. There might be a little bit of heartbeat. Bro, let me get this last so, script. So we, there you go. We're going to get out the mercy room out this last script. Give me, uh, you got something you want to pull out? Yeah, right I actually got two scripts, two scripts. Come on, bro. Hey, Come give on, me a, bro. hey, give me Romans 128. All right. Bring it out. Romans 128, because what we see, man, we see reprobate minds right here. They, they minds need to be renewed. They need to cure of cure the culture. That's you know, right. We, we, we serve the he, purpose to help he them need out. need to leave that dope alone. That, 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 <laughs> he that, need to leave that dope alone. <laughs> hey, read that scripture. Read that scripture. Romans chapter 1, verse 28. Read it out. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. So you can see how they act. You can see by their conversation. They got no knowledge of God in their minds. Read on. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. That whole conversation is pure reprobate. They minds are destroyed, right, right. far gone, no knowledge of God whatsoever. Read on. Message to do those things which are not which are not convenient. That whole conversation, hey, we, we, we can destroy our nation if we make a baby. That's not convenient for us as a people. But we got a solution. Give me Romans 12 and 2. They can come out that reprobate mindset if they repent and keep God's commandments. That's, That's right. right. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Read and be not conformed to this world. So they conform to this world heavily right now. This LBGT, transgender, homosexuality, all this stuff. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that's coming out that reprobate mindset that we just read. They can come out of that thing with repentance. Read. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The perfect will of God is for his people to keep his commandments. Yes, that's the cure. Yes, sir. All oh, praise to the Most High God. Listen, I'm gonna pull one more scripture, man. We're gonna we're gonna leave it to him, man. Give me that Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse twenty nine, bro. 
Ecclesiastes 729. And we, hopefully these brothers and this sister is able to latch on to what the Most High is trying to say and come up out of that BS, man. That's right. That's some BS. Read that, That's bro. right. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 29. Read uh-huh. Lo, this only have I found, that God have made man upright. So the Bible said, oh, this is what I found. God made man upright, meaning that a man is supposed to be a man. He got he made with certain parts to do certain things. He has a particular role to play. The most high made him that way. That's what he's supposed to do. Message. Keep reading. But they have sought out many inventions. So, but they did what? Sought out many inventions. What we seeing now is this brother and our sisters, they seek out inventions. Mm-hmm. That's right, that's right. And that can't be. We gotta come back and keep God's laws. In the faith of Christ, man. It is what it is, man. Listen. That's we, right. Hey, man, we're going to leave him out here, bro. We no, gave him the scriptures, bro. Yeah. Can these bones live? Thou know it. Thou know it. Oh, know. It's on you. The most on the most high, man. He oh, got to. We planted the seed, man. Somebody got to water that thing. To. God yeah. going to give it the increase, bro. So <laughs> all praise to the that most high, man. Bro. He, he going to get up right, and he going to sow a seed of confusion with that sister. Bro. <laughs> Get these folks out the first. You got to get these folks out the first. Man, listen, bro. I got two more. Man, 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 man. So listen. Listen, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with Cure the Culture. We gotta teach the people, yeah. Uh-huh. We gotta hit the streets. We gotta teach the people, yeah. We gotta hit the streets. We gotta teach the people, yeah. We gotta hit the streets. We gotta teach the people, yeah. Hello, Ms. Rose, Officer Shalem from IUIC Guyana. We just completed our very first community cleanup. Alright? We came out, we united, we, not, we united as a people. We took care of the garbage in the neighborhood to show our people that we can be responsible and fix our own places. All right, we, we don't need to rely on any, any other race. We don't need to look to any other uh, person to get out, to fix our issues. But this is a positive thing for me because it's like going on all them for the young people that are coming up. Special. I mean, they have something to look forward to, something that they could follow. And this is positive. And, and this, believe it or not, man, this is a part of of us curing, curing the culture. You see them brothers and sisters out there helping clean the community and things of that nature. That shows we care about our community, man. That's helping cure, cure that mindset that we just out there, we out there teaching. No, we care about the community, too. We got to gather ourselves together like the scriptures say. But I'll pray to the most I listen. We finna jump into the topic today, man. Listen, it's going to be... Listen, this is a very needed, much needed discussion that we need to have That's concerning. Right. Hey, bring our um bring our thumbnail up. Bring our thumbnail up. There you go. The dangers of the internet. Read. Oh, that's it? That's yeah. it. Okay, all praise. That's, well, that's what it is, man. That's the it. dangers of the internet. Pull it back up, man. I want to discuss some of this. You see you see this look on these people's faces, and they're in front of a computer, whether it's your computer, your phone, or uh, tablet, or whatever it may be. Um, you see our people, man, they they getting misled by this. Well, uh, and give me that scripture in uh, 1 Corinthians real fast. And we're going to talk about this dangers of the internet. Give me that scripture in 1 Corinthians. Because, and uh, you can pull it down, there are dangers dealing with the internet. Right. But we know, now read the scripture, because I want to I show y'all something. Read that scripture. The book First of First Corinthians, Corinthians seven. chapter 7, verse 31. Uh-huh. Read and they that use this world. I said they that use this world. Uh-huh. As not abusing it. As not what? Abusing as it. As not abusing it. So we can't abuse it. We got to use this world. Read. For the fashion of this world passes away. The fashion of this world passing away. 
So the most high is telling us, yeah, we can use this world. We can use the internet for great things. We on the internet right now, right? Right. Yes, right, right. So what well, we're trying to cure our culture. Now we do understand that things could be used for good and things could be used for bad. Just say we're gonna use something simple like um food. We know we gotta have food to live, right? Yes, sir. But if you overuse it, what happens? You get sick. You get sick, you get obese. Same thing with water. You drink too much water. You can, you, you can get sick. Right. So we understand this. So we're not telling you, hey, uh, don't use the internet because we do use the internet. But it's a way to do it. We 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 have to be in that same mindset. Like when we eat food, we know, okay, I'm full. That's enough. We got to monitor our screen time. We got to monitor our children' screen time. Mm-hmm. We got to see what's going on with them because a lot of times our children are the one that's being attacked. And you as a 20, 30, 40-year-old man or woman, you see the thing, the ways that you could be seduced dealing with the Internet because one click and it's over with. You down a rabbit hole that you just came out of. Message. So we understand that. But what about your children that's, that's out here that don't know, that don't understand how to pull back? Mm-hmm. That's why we got to dive into this conversation. And I got some video. We, of course, we got some videos. We're going to pull some scriptures and talk about this very pertinent part of us coming into this truth and how to deal with this. Because our children, I, my dad used to say this thing too, man. Uh, he would catch me doing something wrong, or may have been in the wrong, and and I would come out of it. And he was like, Yeah. He said, I may miss you in the wash. But I'm gonna catch you in the rank cycle. Y- y'all, y'all, y'all ever heard that before? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Y'all, y'all ever heard that before? And that's what we see these other nations. Esau, Amalek, right, is doing with us. Is they may have missed us in the wash, but guess what? They kind of trying to catch our kids in the rank yeah, cycle. The rinse. You understand what I'm saying? So they putting stuff out here. They may miss you, but they after your children. Damn. Uh, um, who had that song out? Was it yeah. Michael Jackson? Do you know your children? Now? No, no. I, I believe the children. Who was that? Who's, our future. Well, the well, that was Whitney Houston. Let them live. That was Whitney Houston song. That okay, song. that was Whitney okay, Houston. Yeah. 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 But you understand that that's that's why we got to teach our children. But she was she sung that song, and they are. they. We have to teach our people, our children, to avoid these traps and snares mm-hmm. that they can get caught in dealing with the internet or whatever it may be. So, yes, we got to teach these children, and we can read that about that and do the rhyme. But pull this video up, man. Pull this video up. And I'm going to lean back, and I know y'all brothers had some video. Pull that video of this young sister, man. And we done, had, we done played this video before, but I really wanted to sink in what's going on with this little young sister. And what is she being taught? So play it, play this. So hold up, hold up, hold up right there. It says, step one, don't settle till you find your angle. So we see the little, little sister. She probably in Pampers, man. They got her dressed up. They, she, got, she got on the dress, a little mini skirt. She's right. Mm-hmm. She have on the righteous dress or whatever. But you see her got this phone on the back of this car, and she trying to set it up for something. Let's, let's play So, no way, boy. Now, you know, and normally we would laugh at that, like, oh, that's yeah. so cute or whatever. Right. Mm. But do we understand the detriment that, that this young child is probably still in pampers? What is her mindset leading to? What can she go from here? Because what she did, she done seen her mama put that phone up somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, sir. And got in front of that phone and started dancing. Yep. That's, yeah. that's learned behavior. She, she mimicking mm-hmm. exactly what she see her mama doing. So it's very vital that our sisters, give, give me the, give me the scripture, bro. Give me the scripture. Give me the, um, Ezekiel sixteen forty four, man. Ezekiel sixteen forty four, because the scripture talks about. We're gonna read. We'll just read it. Read that, bro. Yes. The book of Ezekiel, chapter sixteen, verse forty four. Uh-huh. Behold, everyone they use a proverb. So, and these nations is using proverbs against us, and we using these proverbs also. Keep reading. Shall use this proverb against thee, uh-huh. saying, "What they gonna say?" As is the mother, uh-huh. so is her daughter. That's what we see now. If her mo- her mama was righteous, keeping God's commandments, 
she would want to be that. Right, yep. She would want to be that. And the reason that is, go to um, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. The scriptures say, as the mother is, so is the daughter. So we, if you see the mama doing this, the daughter going to do this. And the mama going to dress the daughter the same way that she dresses. Y'all understand that? We, we, we on point, right? Right. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Read the scripture, bro. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 14. Uh -huh. you know, I will therefore that the younger women marry. So our younger women supposed to marry. Bear children. Bear children. We see the child up there. She buried the child. Read. Guide the house. Uh-huh. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. So when, when that says guide the house, guess what that comes into? Teaching those children. That's right. We read about that in Titus 2. Teaching those children. She's not teaching this child nothing but how to be the damn devil the Bible speaks of. Message. That's what she's teaching the child, how to be a whore, mm -hmm. how to be an uh, internet vixen, right. mm -hmm. not right. to be a daughter of Sarah. You know go mama ahead. Go, you know mama going to upload that video. Look at what we're seeing. It's right. This video is on the internet. Internet. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, she she got some likes from this video. Mm -hmm. The mama probably uploaded this video for somebody to see her young daughter out here dancing like that. Like, oh, that's cute. That's a part of the so-called culture that we have. This is But sick. this is not keeping God's law, statutes, commandments. If she wanted to do something, she could show her dressed up as a daughter of Sarah right. uh, in a modest dress with some fringes on. Really? Keeping God's commandments on the way to the Sabbath or turning up for the um, high holy days. Right. Keeping God's righteous commandments, right. but we don't see that. But go ahead, and don't, have and don't don't even realize that it's it's probably some guy in a in his mama's basement, and is aroused. Damn, this, right? And they wonder why we are, when we go out on the street and we teach modest apparel, cover your daughters up. Don't nobody need to be seeing that from from you. Or your especially your young child, you understand? Let's get Leviticus nineteen twenty out. Bring it up. Oh, you in the spirit. Bring it out. You in the spirit. But this just kind of it popped up. Read that Leviticus nineteen because this this is what we this is what we do as a people. You know what I'm saying? She ain't the only one that got her baby out here like this. They got whole child models on the internet, little babies. Read that. The book of Leviticus chapter nineteen verse twenty nine. Bring it out. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. God said it right there. It said do not. Prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. You may ask, how I'm prostituting my daughter? Well, look at you. First of all, you're putting her on in, in a global stage by just uploading one video to the internet. And I'm sure there's more than one video of her on the internet, you on the internet, she dancing right, yep. with you, she talking crazy, listening to Sexy Red, Cardi B, and all this different stuff, right? And it's somebody that is watching your child. Wait until she get about four or five years old, then she get on a uh, get on a, one of them things called Roblox, get on one of them games. Well, she can actually now she can talk mm. to folks. Yeah, I've been uh. watching you for about three years. You want a friend? Damn! Damn. You prostituting your daughter on the internet? I just put another video up, real fast, and I want y'all to play that play that video I just put. That's the one Officer Baruch put right now. We gonna we gonna come back to it, bro. Yeah, because okay, it's I'll another it's other aspects to this, and it's not just play the video, man. I just put it up. It's my niece thought imagination was an app on your phone. You said like use your imagination and yeah. she's like where, where is that? I don't have that downloaded. Yeah, and it blew my mind. I was like, yeah, because boredom was a chance like that's where you came up with your that's where your je ne sais came from, you yeah. know? Excellent. That's where I love your, him. Yes, that's yeah. where your brain showed its balls off, you yeah. know? I was captivated by Cajun. Somebody said, stop buying kids phones. A simple fix. My 12 year olds have no problem using their brains. Exactly. Like allow your kids to be bored. Give them nothing to do. They will come up with things. They will actually figure out what their imagination is. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So he said he thought imagination was what? An app, phone, app, on, app, app on your phone. Damn. The hell is this? This is our children these days. Right. They, yeah. I remember, man, listen, growing up, we didn't, we didn't have phones. <laughs> right. Imagination. Well, video games were at a real we, low level. They memory. just started. Yeah, they just started. Wow! So we used to take, you know, and, and I'm, I grew up in Little Post, so we had a washing machine, but we didn't have a dryer. So we had to hang our clothes on a clothesline. Y'all yeah. know the clothesline? Yeah, right, sure. And you got yeah. clothespins. Yeah. I would take clothespins and make little toys out of those clothespins because you didn't have nothing else. Yeah. Right. I had to use my imagination. Yep. Sometimes that clothespin was a car and I just running on, on the table, <laughs> make the noise and everything right. out of a clothespin. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But look at how that shaped you though. Right. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? I had to use my imagination. He said he thought imagination 
<laughs> was an app, app on, on the, the phone. phone. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Bro, I'm telling you, I could, you could talk to some of these children, and I promise you that they'll say that. Mm-hmm. Play the yeah. video some more. Play the video. I know we're going to go in on it, but listen, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. This is sick. Mm-hmm. Our people, the internet is dangerous. Yes, sure yes, sir. Is. Come on, play the video, man. We're we, we going we to go in some more. They will actually figure out what their imagination is. Wow. The land of Newfoundland. <laughs> Somebody said more like the problem with parents these days. It's not the kid's fault. I think that's a big misconception. Kids are raised on iPads now, on phones. And you know who gets them? Those devices, parents. It's the parents' problems. Don't blame the kids. So, okay. All right, listen. She put it out there. Saw, oh, saw woman put it out there. Right. Mm-hmm. Whose problem it is? It's ours because we mm-hmm. don't want to let... Are we? What we'll do is say, I want to give my children more than I had. Yeah. We actually crippling a lot of children. Yeah. They don't have the imagination or, or develop the imaginations that they need to have right. because they hadn't they hadn't played with a clothespin. Message. They hadn't took a, a clothes hanger and made a slingshot out of it. Right. I, I remember riding a bicycle and we used to get like a you know those little things that um the meat come in, um, the little packs, the little styrofoam, or playing cards or whatever. Yeah. And we used to y'all might not know about this. We used to take that clothespin and clip that onto the back of our bicycle so it could hit the spokes yeah. and make a sound, sound like yeah. a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've yet to see a kid do that in these days. Because right. they, 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 you know what I'm saying, they, they're sheltered, not just, you know what I'm saying, they're sheltered in the house. They that's, don't that's go outside, it. exactly. They don't go outside, and that leads to like a, a, a lack of the development of ingenuity, like, right. you know what I'm saying, right. being creative, right. Right. coming up with stuff, trying to figure out how to make things work so I can get it to do what I need to do. Right. Yeah. These kids, they looking for imagination on the phone, yeah. on the app, and that's why we got to come back to God's Like, Can we get Psalm 19 and verse it, 7? Bring it's it scripture that we use all the time, but I think this is, is definitely pertinent in this day and age, especially if you are... Um, New in this truth, or just just anybody. You got kids in this truth, and they be on the phone all the time. Let's let's really think about what we're doing, y'all. Watch this. Uh, Psalm nineteen and verse seven. We got to use this to pull our kids out of that hole because they'll become zombies. Watch this. The Book of Psalms, chapter nineteen, verse seven. Uh-huh. Bring it up. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh-huh. converting the soul. We need to use God's laws to convert our souls. Like we read in the scripture about how the sisters were confectionaries, right? right? Well, mothers, you need to be taking your your daughters in the kitchen with you, showing them how to make mm. the unleavened bread, get them off the phone, do right. something with them. You know what right. I'm saying? Put the children. Don't let the children be idle. There's several scriptures about that. If you if you a man, if you got sons that are of age to be able to do things, take them with you. Take them outside. Show them some. You see what I'm saying? Because if not, the, I guarantee you the internet going to show them some and, and some more and more than you could ever could probably. Right, you understand? Right. So now we got to use God's laws to convert the soul and do what? Read that. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. Making wise the simple. Because I guarantee you, if we don't use God's laws in our children's lives, all of them going to be some little simpletons. Right. Crazy. That's what you see. Internet. That's what you yeah. see, bro. Hey, can I, can I get uh, Proverbs 23? Read 23 and 7. Yes, sir. Because like you said, because like you're bringing out, when, when, when parents get their children these devices, it's like you have the world. There's a reason why it's called the World Wide Web. Mm-hmm. You know, from you can you can be in the poorest town in America and you can see everything you, you, you could possibly imagine. Message. But read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 7. Read it out. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So the scripture says, as, as you think in your heart, so are you. So... When you give your child these devices at a young age and they seeing, like you said, they're not bored coming up with their own imaginations. They could possibly better their community, better their nation. They don't have that. They have these devices in their hands. So they looking at the sex of reds. They're looking at the car that bees, the little dirt. They see them play with the guns and everything. So as they seeing this, they, they, they taking all this in. And when they finally go outside, they become the things that they've been watching on their phone. Right. That's Read. Right. Eat and drink, say if he You see that? Eat. Because the stuff that you were watching is now telling you what to do. Right. It says, eat and drink, say if he read. But his heart is not with you. You see that? But those people that, that give us these, that, that, that we watch on the internet, we know they, they are put here by our enemies, by Esau. Whether it's from the rap music, the entertainers, the, the, the shoot them up bang bangs and all that type stuff, that's all given to us by the enemies. It says... But his heart is not with thee. So they'll give you this stuff on these devices. They'll show you all the glitz and glamour, but it ain't for the better of your nation. Yeah. It's for you to go out to be a look. You, you, you may be like the little girl with the little uh, with the phone. Yeah, it's cute right now, but when she get 10, 12, 13, 
she gonna be popping and she gonna be be behind some bleachers somewhere. Right. Hey, let me, let me, let me. Hey, all right. Look, I sent y'all a video. It ain't gonna, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. She ain't gonna make it to 10, 12, 13. Play that other one. Play that. Yeah, play this one real fast before we get Officer Baruch. And we gonna get it, bro. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do we your, gonna get do it, bro. Do your thing. Do your thing. It's it. We gotta get some understanding before we go down that slippery slope. All right, play this. I started finding these modeling accounts for children on Instagram, yeah. and they're so, followed by so, all. So, so you hear what she said, right, Officer Brooke? You can attack this. I got you. She said that she started this. Uh, have seen these modeling accounts on Instagram mm -hmm. for children. Mm. Yes, children. We talking about babies. Got modeling accounts, so they got our young children out here. That's modeling as babies. The same thing you see in a parade. Right. When we go to these yeah. parades or yeah. whatever, what have you. And and we out there trying to teach the word of God. And they got these our young sisters out there. Yes, sir. They, hey, they got them out there. They, they prostituting. Well, go ahead. Yeah. I, I just want to say real quick. We used to be going to parades. We did a fly me. You remember uh, we did a fly me. Yeah, parade. Uh, Christmas parade. Right, right, Christmas parade. All the little black children. They they playing the nasty songs. They popping it low, shaking it low. But Esau was in the parade also. Uh huh. Guess what they little, little eating my girls were doing? Guess what they had them doing? What's that? Walking and waving. And waving. That's Walking that. and waving. Why they got the little yeah. black girls shaking their behind and skin tights, wow. legs and all that? Yeah. They got their children just walking and waving. Yep, yep. And it's on candy. And the Edomite girl, they were covered up. They weren't showing they anybody was like our up. young sister. Doing yep. a princess wave. Yeah, yeah. Like queen, princess, queen, wave. princess yeah. Diana wave. They were covered up. Don't like, you be like these niggas out here trying to drop it down low? Yeah. Dang. Play the video, man. This is this is sad. Play the video. It's grown men who follow hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of kids. Young Apollo with the brother. Today's disgusting subject matter. Please like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a Did video you put a time for you guys. Step on this? And no, uh, man, leave a man, comment down below if this is something. Hey, go to three fifteen, man. I'll start from the beginning. Start from, then, then, the three, stop at three fifteen. Stop at three fifteen. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's let's get to what they, let's get to the to the subject matter. Let's go. Bell to be notified every single time we post a video for you guys and uh, leave a comment down below if this is something that you've noticed on YouTube or Instagram. Today, I have a special guest on the show, Aldo. Aldo. Glad to be here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> are you doing great with this news that you've, you know, just released on Twitter? It's tough. I'm personally doing great, but, um, you know, I'm glad that we're exposing what's out there and that this is getting the attention it deserves so that we can do something about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. So you put out a now viral tweet that says, at YouTube Kids is grooming children with LGBTQ plus propaganda. I made an account and what I found was disgusting. So tell me about the account that you made. What age range were you put in at uh, and what did you find upon yeah, so I, I started this account posing as a 9 to 12 year old to see what YouTube kids was putting in the algorithm mm -hmm. for this age group. And immediately after I clicked, you know, after my, uh, my age group, I was immediately uh, seeing things about LGBTQ. One of the first videos was about kids meet a gender non-binary person. Okay. And so, watching that video so, is so So hold so up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we see to where this is going, right? Mm -hmm. This is yeah. all on the internet. Mm -hmm. So now when your child gets a phone or whatever and clicks certain things on whether it be on Facebook or or um, Instagram YouTube, or man. YouTube, <laughs> what do they mention that they can get a hold to? LGBTQ. Yeah, LGBTQ. You notice what this, this is not regular YouTube. This is YouTube kids. 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 Yeah. So they put that kids label on it to try to make you think, well, yeah, I can, I can leave my children with this because... It's it's kids. for kids. So I'm tired. I can, you know, so I can do whatever I can do whatever I gotta do. I can have, I got some stuff I can handle over here. This is supposed to be educational for my child. Let me get him that right there. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, they you wondering why it's quiet. LGBTQ on the on the YouTube kids. Plan. So our children are under attack. They under attack from many different ways. And one of the ways that they get into your household, because the scripture talks about uh binding a strong man. And then you could take his house. Y'all, 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 what I'm talking about? Pull that scripture out for me, bro. Because um, this is what happening is this is what's happening in our household is we allowing our wives to buy these kids these phones 
and allowing them to have free reign with these phones for no telling how long throughout the day. And then, okay, give him a tablet, he'll be over there quiet. And we see this in the Sabbath class. We yep. see this yep. Yep. right here in the Sabbath class to where children are on their pads all day. Hit, hit, wink, wink. Shame, 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 shame. Read the scripture, shame, bro. Shame. Read the scripture. <laughs> the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 29. Uh huh. Or else, how can one enter, <clears throat> enter into a strong man's house? So, how are you going to enter into a strong man's house? How? How can you enter? Read. And spoil his goods. And spoil his goods. Because, see, that's what's happening. Our goods is our our, our children, our, our, our household, what's in our household. That's our good. That belongs to us. The scripture talking about when you get a fruitful possession. You sow it with your own seed. And you, your kids grow. Well, them your goods now. Keep reading. Except he first bind the strong man. So he bind the strong man. All right, uh, well, we need, we need um, the children need this tablet. They need this phone for such and such. Right. Well, they use it for such right. and such, whether it be on, because, like, and I'm just going to tell you, my, my, my kids, um, uh, when they just had COVID or whatever, they weren't able to go to school. And I'm going to tell you something. I'll say this. Kids don't need to be in public school. Right. Our children do not need to be in public school. That's why we got to gather ourselves together and start homeschooling our kids. That's because right. we can't send our kids out to our enemy eight hours a day and expect them to come back and not, so not something be wrong with them. So right. that's that's off real. Message. But during the COVID time, we see to where uh, they give the kids the computers yeah. or whatever. Right. So they're using the computer for that, but guess what they can also do with those computers? Anything. I, anything. I, anything. Just off personal experience. When I was... Um, in the classroom, like they had, we had those laptops in the classroom, and I had several situations where I had to find out where kids was going on the internet on the school computer, right? Doing whatever they wanted to do, and then there's ways they can, you know, they can hide it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's you right. Had to get ingenuitive and, and real creative to figure out how to find how they hid it. These, they, mind you, these were third graders, right? You understand? At a third grade level, so, they can be very deceptive when yes. it comes to things. See, I, they don't know. They don't know how to jump rope. But they don't know how to get on that internet, though. Right. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to fall out a tree. I don't know how to climb a tree. But they know this, and it's, mm-hmm. and it's our fault. Can't it's really our word. fault. Can't spell a word, but they know the first two letters oh, and what the internet do. They put it up that phone. Right. Yep. It's, it's, internet, so I know what you want. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, right. It's crazy because, like you said, Esau don't do that. Right. I remember Bishop, Bishop Y'all saw we're bringing out all the time how, how they would have us to buy our kids stuff already put together. Right. Esau would go out and buy their children building blocks. Right. right. Yeah. Tractors not put together. That's that so imagination. That's exactly. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Plane. You want a plane, put it together. Put it together. Right. But we they, they get us to go out and buy the plane already put together. Yes, sir. Th- Man, so listen. thinking life come easy. Man, listen. We didn't have all that. Our, our, our parents weren't able to afford it, so I would get a piece of paper. Right. And I, fold a plane up together <laughs> and fly it <laughs> down. Yeah. Yeah. And I make the noises of the... Yeah. That joke hit the ground. I pick it up and throw it again. Yeah. Just chase that thing out. How many, what the last time you seen kids flying kites? Never. Never. Mm. I don't know the last time I seen that. Do, do they still steal still kites? Yeah, 20 plus years. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. they, they sell, sell them. Yeah. They, they sell, sell them. them. Yeah. I remember that was about the, when, when my mama would go in the grocery store, me and mama, daddy, and my brother, they had kites. They were like two or three dollars. Yeah. They was very, very cheap. At the cheap. register, they had right, kites. Yeah. Right. At the register. And I would beg mama for one of those kites. And I learned how to fly them things. I would yeah. get extra, extra string and get it way super high. Yeah. Right. And that was a, you know, it helped you develop things, learn how to um, motor skills and things of this yep. nature. We don't see that nowadays. It's, right. It's All funny. they know how to do is. Hey, it's funny because sometimes the best part of flying a kite. Is when that piece, of, that last piece of string came off the spool, and you got to run across the field and catch that string. Catch that string. Catch that string. Your kite was gone. 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 You got to, got to get that thing. Yeah, man, I remember that. All praise, all praise. I got, I go you. ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Officer. Hey, uh, uh, Bishop, because Bishop brought out uh, Lamentation three, verse twenty-seven. Bishop just brought out this past Sabbath about about when it comes to you know our kids, right? Read that. The book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 27. Read it out. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. So it's, the scripture says it's good for a man that bear the yoke in his youth, meaning what? Put him to work early. Early. So not because if you if you did if we did this apply this, it wouldn't be 2024, so to speak, and you got 10-year-olds obese. 
Yep. Yep. You, you, right. you, you got preteens, they obese because right. they don't bear the yoke. They, they, they parents don't send them to labor, do yard work. They don't do none of that stuff. They think, okay, I just get a tablet and, and mama, baby, daddy, or somebody go do it to please her. And if he try to get me to do something, I'm just going to tell mama and she's going to call such and such and going to come over here and beat him. just all type of confusion because we don't apply certain scriptures like this, sending our child to labor at a young age. I got a perfect example of what you're talking about. I, let me just get this in here. When You know how nowadays when they got gardens, they mm -hmm. go buy all these chemicals to kill the weeds? We was the weed eaters. Exactly. Yep. The kids had to go weed. I know them days. Weed. We was the weed eaters. <laughs> Wasn't no chemicals. Wasn't no right. chemicals. You, you the weed killer. Yeah, Big Mama be pointing at boy go over there and get the weed. <laughs> and we the weeds out them there. butter beans. You was the tiller too. <laughs> yeah, I was the tiller. <laughs> Man, listen. Yeah. Get the weeds out yeah. them butter beans. <laughs> I, man, I'm going to tell you something. I, 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 that corn. I, I like them now, but butter beans, man, was one of my worst things to pick back then because <laughs> there was a bush, and they was real low, and you had to pick them, and then you you had to pick some more the next day. They grow fast. They grow fast. So I would, I would get in trouble because I would pull a whole bush up. <laughs> but they, they didn't want you to pull that no, whole bush no. up. You got to pick them things. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm right to the, but it helped me out. It helped me. Right. The thing about it is, like you said, it, it, at that young age, it taught you, as as we grow up now, to we used to laboring now. We used right. to putting our our, our 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 feet to the to, to the plow, or whatever, so to speak. But like you say, kids nowadays they don't understand that. That's why, like I said, the 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 depths of Satan run deep with Esau. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you look around our society now, there's a lot of women that take a lot of um uh, uh, uh manager roles or whatever the case may be. When you right. look at when you look at the women. They call they call these the younger boys. They don't want to work nowadays. Hey man, who ever played that music, man? Y'all five, bro. Wrong, man. We gonna hire somebody else, man. Y'all five. Who who played it? Oh, I don't pray to the most high. But y'all got a scripture? Yeah, hey, I got a quick. Because we got we got uh, we got to get back to this hey, video. Give me, uh, give me a Sirach, uh, thirty and verse three. Because you know we can't be lazy parents with our kids. We can't just throw a tablet and let the internet and social media raise our kids. We have, we gotta have an active role as parents in the education of our, of our children. So uh, give me that Sirach, uh thirty and three. Sirach chapter 30, verse 3. Bring it out. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. So, especially us as parents, the fathers, you know, one day I'll be a father. But us fathers, we got to teach our children, you know, the commandments of God. That, that's active. That's a verb. That's a physical thing that we have to do. We can't be lazy as parents. Read on. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. Because you're going to rejoice in your kids because your kids is going to reflect by applying the knowledge that they learn from you. You're going to see, hey, man, my son, he doing well. He using the knowledge that I taught him. That's how you rejoice in your children. But we can't be lazy parents. we got to have an active role in our children's upbringing and education. All praise. Hey, Hey, let's, let's finish this video out, man. All right, all right. Finish this video. I know you're trying to get to it. All. I, I know. I got to <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'll finish pray. this video out. Yes, sir. Finish this thing out. Can we finish it out? Yeah. So weird. This non-binary person comes out and starts putting these ideas in the kids' heads. And one of the kids immediately says, you know, this is confusing. I'm confused. Um, after that, the algorithm put in tons and tons more videos. So, with, um, so, you know, so, one of the main so, channels was. Hold up. So after they started doing this non-binary stuff. The kids say, what the kids say? I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. What that? It's your phone. It's your watch. Uh, listen, the internet, man, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Damn. There's some devil. dangers with that thing. We got to be very careful on how we deal with it. But going back to this, what this, this Edomite said, um, that some non-binary stuff started coming up, and these kids were saying, oh, I'm confused. And that's the that's the thing. The scriptures say, well, you know, strife and the confusion there, there's or every, evil. every evil work, and that's what we seeing is an evil work going on because it brings confusion. Imagine that you've been you've been knowing you was a boy your whole life, right? And then you mm -hmm. find out somebody like well, I'm not a boy or a girl. I'm I'm both of them. I'm them, yeah. right? Boy, I'm ain't no way. Boy, I got a new I got a confused. new pronoun. <laughs> How you got another pronoun? So we got a. Anyway, the dude said. So what they did was started. Flooding more videos into this. Yeah. So play, keep playing. We're going to finish this out. I know you read that, Officer Brooke. Hold tight, bro. Um, after that, the algorithm put in tons and tons more videos with, um, you know, one of the main channels was Queer Kid Stuff, Man. breaking down the LGBTs. What Stop, can we pause that right there? Stop right there. Just, this, is, this is one of the pages that he, that he found as he was going through the YouTube Kids. It says one of the most prominent channels on YouTube Kids is Queer 
kids stuff where they break down the infinite sexualities in the LGBTQ plus. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. The infinite what? Infinite sexualities. What in the world is that? That's why they put that plus on the end of it. Infinite sexualities. Mm -hmm. See, this is what the internet is teaching our children that Mm -hmm. there's a such thing as infinite sexuality. Now, how is this? I'm just, and and I'm going to say this. We, as Israelites, we don't participate in what I'm about to say. We don't participate in this, but I'm going to put it out there. Message! They have these things called gender reveal parties. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Now, there's only two colors, right? Yes, sir. What what are those colors? Pink and blue. Pink and blue. So what are they talking about? Damn. Now, I, like I said, I will say this again. We don't, as Israelites, participate in gender reveal parties. Freedom. But we do know that they're out there. We ain't. We not blind. We see them having them. So if your child is a boy, when they bust a balloon, what color is it? Supposed to be blue. 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 If it's a girl. Supposed to be pink. pink. So what are they talking about? In the, what they, what do you call Infinite it? Sexuality. Infinite sexuality. Satan got depths. Can I get one scripture? Go ahead, bro. Revelation 2 and 24. Go ahead, because y'all got to make this make sense to me. <laughs> Revelation 2 and 24. He said, Infinite sexuality. This white man is the devil, y'all. Do yeah. understand the that. Devil. White man is the devil, and he does not have your best interests nor your children's at heart, especially when it comes down to maintaining the rulership of his kingdom. That's what it's all about the destruction of the Israelites. Why on earth would you have something called queer kid stuff? On the internet, when you talking about LGBTQ+, my kid can't even spell. He right, don't know right. all the letters yet. But for some reason, when he first learned the letters, he learned that that's associated with being whatever the infinite sexualities are. Infinite sexuality. That don't he make no sense. Seek. Revelation 2, 24. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 24. Yeah. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira. And to you I say, and the rest in Thyatira. You go talking to the church in Thyatira. Thyatira means daughters, by the way. Sisters, read. As many as have not this doctrine. Because that's, I mean, and we got to stop at that point just because this a lot, that a lot of times applies to the sister all the time. The husband not at home all day. So now the child at home with the woman, with the, with the mama, and the iPad. Mama might have some other stuff going on. Mama may be like, I'm tired. I got this to go on. And guess what? iPad come and now you're learning about infinite sexualities. Well, be mindful because watch this. Read that. Read it. Finish it out. And which have not known the depths of Satan. Which have not known what? The depths of Satan. The depths of Satan. The depths of Satan is the levels, the infinite possibilities of Satan. Y'all don't understand Satan. Is- Satan is an old demon. You understand? That's why you gotta do, you gotta, you gotta really do your due diligence when it comes down to the things that your children are being allowed to uh digest on screen. You understand? Finish that scripture out and I'm to it. As they speak, I will put upon you none of the burden. That's it. I was going I know you had something. Yes, sir. Hey, I see you on that itch. Hey, hey, give me a wisdom of Solomon <laughs> chapter four and verse twelve because this whole thing has an agenda. Because I remember, you know, leadership a while ago they played a music video with the LBGT did t- did a song talking about we gonna convert your children. I remember that. I remember that. They say put it out there what the agenda is and what we seeing with these YouTube kids. They this pretty much the breeding ground for that agenda to be manifest. But read up uh, wisdom of Solomon four and twelve. The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 12. Read it out. For the bewitching of naughtiness, the obscure things that are honest. So what they doing with this, uh, this what are they, queer what they call it? Queer that? kid stuff. Yeah, queer kid stuff. They are obscuring the things of that, that are, that's honest. It's honest for a young woman, for a young girl to grow up to be a woman, and then one day she get married to a man and have a family. Like that's the scriptures say. Right? Like the scriptures say. It's an honest mm-hmm. thing for a young boy to grow up to be a man, get married to a woman, and have a family. That's right. honest. That's right. But read on. And the wandering of concupiscence. The wonder of concupiscence, concupiscence is sexual desire. So what this thing here is doing is setting our children up to fall prey to the pedophiles out there in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it's it. grooming kids for pedophilia. That's Read on. It. Doth undermine the simple mind. Because them young young kids, they, they don't really get fully understand the levels of evil and deception and debauchery that these adults that are trying to prey on our kids know. That's why they're undermining that. Their, their children's minds are simple at this point. Right. So... That's what's going on. You know, the wishing of naughtiness is destroying our children that's with crazy. this evil agenda. That's the, that's the infinite sexuality. It's right. not, no longer, it ain't even, it ain't even about be the gay stuff no more. No, we trying to get oh, your children. We trying to be, be pedophile with your kids. That's why it's a grown man on there teaching your child, your young boy about doing this and doing that. Because exactly. you want to get with them. Bruh. You can't make this up. I, I know you read, Officer Baruch. What you got to say, man? What hey, question? man. Let me... <laughs> 
All praises. Let me get a Proverbs 22 my and brother. 15. That's my brother right there. We're going to play that video, bro. I know. I, I, we're going to play, play, we play the whole no, video. No, I don't want the whole video, but watch this. I'm, I'm going to show you all something. All right. Like, also, you can always just saying they open the door. To every war, there's a battle plan. Mm -hmm. Right. And what we are showing you when it comes to the dangers of the internet is the battle plan. That first video that you showed that little girl. Right. That was the opening salvo. Shots fired. Shots, Shots fired. fired. Shots mm. fired. All right. Now read that. Watch this. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 15. Read it out. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, mm -hmm. but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. So now, foolishness, they are counting on the foolishness of our children. Children don't know no better. That's what they're counting on. Right. That's why what they say, that first video, that little girl, oh, that's opening the door. Just put the picture of the video up that I, I put on now. No, we, we we can play a little bit of it because then I want to play something off to you. Who can? Uh, well, okay. Officer Semi had played. Play. You see at the top of it, they say innocent stolen. Play the video. Play play part of the video for the officer, man. Look, this is horrible. <laughs> All right, stop that. Stop it. Stop it right there. Man, now, how do they know that song like that? The parents. Parents. She said hands on your knees and were doing her best. All them little girls were doing mm -hmm. their best to do what their mama showed them to do or what, what they, 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 they on they, the internet. The, the, the this is sick. Bruh, go ahead, Officer yeah. Bruce. Now, 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 what you see here, this is the menu. For those men, those right. pedophiles that Aussie Hukunar spoke about earlier, this is the menu. The LBGT kids, that's the grooming. Because that's what, it's some, it's some pedophiles right now seeing that video and say, okay, look, go on their mama. Whoever downloaded that video, go on her Facebook page. Let's find out who them children is. Mm -hmm. And now, let's start grooming them. Then guess what? When you spoke on the public schools, that's the hunting ground. Right. Damn. And they and they, they they count on absent fathers. They count on lazy mothers, mm -hmm. as you mentioned earlier, lazy parents. And 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 the public schools is the hunting ground. That's what that is. They they the foolishness of that's bad in the heart of a child, they banking on that. That's why I would say, uh, they don't want us to, in Deuteronomy, what's it, 76? We finna read it. Let's get that. Read that thing. Start at verse uh, Deuteronomy 6. Six. six and seven. Yeah, read that, bro. Read that, bro. Because yes. this, this is one thing that we have been lacking. Um, is, And it's coming back to our culture. This is going to actually cure our culture because we're teaching our children what does say the Lord God. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 7. Read it out. And thou shalt teach them diligently. What are we going to do? Teach them diligently. We're going to teach God's laws, statutes, and commandments diligently. Diligently. That's not a normal Negro word. I won't, and let's take our time with this. We're going to play that video, but I want you to look up the word diligently. Because I, I need, we need to get this understanding of what this word diligently means. That determines on how we're supposed to teach our kids these laws, statutes, and commandments. But keep reading. Unto thy children. Start over from the beginning. And we're going to pull up that definition of diligently. Read that, bro. Yes. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto uh -huh. thy children. Uh -huh. And shalt talk of them without sinners in thine house. So what we got to do is talk about these scriptures, God's laws, statutes, and commandments when we sit in our house. And when thou walkest by the way. When we walking by the way. If we going anywhere, because, you know, you go places. So when you're going somewhere, you teach them the kids the law, statutes, and commandments. Look at this over here. Should we be doing that? No, sir. Mm -hmm. Should we do this? That's wicked over there. Why is that little girl got on pants? Why is that little boy got on a dress? It shouldn't be that. We teaching them diligently. Hold up. Pull up the definition real fast. And we're gonna keep reading. Leave that. Leave that up there. Characterized by steady, earnest, and energetic effort. Painstaking. Mm -hmm. Read the scripture from the start again. Leave that definition up there. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently. So we teach God's laws, statutes, and commandments diligently, steady, earnest, energetically, 
painstakingly. Keep reading. Unto thy children. Uh huh. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. When we're sitting in the house, we're going to talk about these scriptures. Keep reading. And without walkers by the way. When we're walking by the way, we're talking about keeping God's law, statutes, and commands. Read. And, well, and when thou liest down. When you lay, get ready to go to bed at night, when you get ready to lay down, instead of reading them what they call a bedtime story, yes, you teach them God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's their bedtime story. That's they right. go to bed with these law, statutes, and commandments on their mind. Read. And when thou risest up. When you rise up, I ain't no getting no phone in your hand looking at it and seeing, checking on it the first thing in the morning, what you supposed to be doing? Teaching, Teaching them kids God's laws, That's statutes, right. and commandments. This is what we got to do. That's diligently doing that. That's why I say earnestly, painstakingly, energetically, because we've seen four times throughout the day to what they're teaching the kids. Because they with them all day. Mm -hmm. They teach them when they wake up, when they sit in the house, when they walk it by the way, and when they lay down. All day long is these laws, statutes, and commandments, and this is our way out of this. This is that the curing of the culture that we need to happen in that's, our community. That's what, I'm sorry. No, that 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 verse right there, that's the defense to the dangers of the internet. Right. That's because if those children got that father and that mother, that father who's that hedge of protection around everybody, with them all the time, guiding the household, telling the mother, don't let them watch that. If he is there, guess what? Hey, no, get off that phone. Go your butt outside. That's right. Go go outside and play. Cause that when we were coming up, hey, get out of grown folks' business. Grown That's folks right. Business. Go outside and play. And so that right there, the dangers of the internet are, are I'm not gonna say all the way nullified, but damn near nullified with that <laughs> verse right there. Right. Hey, let me get Sirach thirty and three right quick. And see this right here. It, it destroys the enemy's battle plan if we really do this. Read that. Sirach chapter 30, verse 3. Read it out. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. They, uh, 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 a righteous man teaching his son these commandments, like it says in Deuteronomy seven, uh, 6 and 7, they grieve the enemy because it destroys their battle plan. That's right. Because guess what? I'm with my son, showing him, hey, you see that? You see that man wearing that dress? That's nonsense. That's foolish. That's an abomination to God. Bring it out. So now they can't come to him in school. They can't come to him on the internet, telling him that that's okay because why? Daddy done told me that that ain't right. That's right. So that stuff you talking about? That's a lie. So that LB, he don't even want to get on that. Mm. That that stuff, he don't even want to get on that. Right. He already knows foolishness. He already knows it's foolishness. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm yes, just going to say, can we look at the definition one more time of diligent? Just those words. Um, it says characterized by steady, earnest, energetic effort. Steady, consistent. Right. Earnest uh, with intention. You know what I'm saying? But the part I wanted to look at was that last word, energetic. And I believe that's where we fall off the horse a lot of times because when it comes down to teaching our children God laws. Steady, we do that. We, you know what I'm saying? We get up, we teach God laws every day. We put on our fringes and all that different stuff with intention. We know it's supposed to get us to the kingdom, but the fact of the matter is, it's oftentimes without that, not just effort, but energetic effort, meaning with a passion. Your kids got to learn how to love God's laws through what? Your love of God's laws. Yep. Psalms 40 and 8. Like if, if you are treating it as if it's a mundane thing and it's just something that we do, you understand, just for whatever reason, right? Then your kids ain't gonna. Okay, <laughs> you said that word mundane. That that you know that's that just kind of what the way it is. And uh, what the, what the clear eyes man? The commercial, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. Clear, clear eyes. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you got to be some energy. And I'll pray to the Most High that uh, you know original royalty is producing music. Also, we see you know um, what's watch and read. Mm -hmm. That's a that's another way. Uh, avenue that you know the Most High has given us this opportunity that we can use the internet right. in a righteous way and not abusing it. Mm -hmm. So we can watch this with our kids. We can turn these on. It's going to be some righteous shows. It's going to show us as, as being the people of the Bible, like the Bible says it is. Right. So we can use it. watch and read. Mm -hmm. Watch and read. I seen watch and read uh, the other day. They got they got one now. They had a. Uh, uh, Tobit on that looking like anime style, like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, wait a minute, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
us. Yeah. So we got avenues we out got here. We got, we got avenues it. out here. We can help teach our children. Go ahead. Hashtag IURC TV. That's it. That's gotta, we got to love it, y'all. Read that uh, Psalm 40 and 8. We got to love it. If we want our kids to love God's law, guess we got to love God's law first? The parents. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. Uh -huh. I delight to do thy will. What did it say? I delight to do thy will. I delight to do thy will. So you want to get your kids hyped up about the feast day, right? Well, guess what? You got to be hyped up about the feast day. You got to be hyped up about putting the garment on, getting right. the unliving bread right, getting the food right, getting the atmosphere right in the household so they can see, oh, this is bad, right? I like right, this. Right, right. Hey, right. hey, that was all. That was all I was gonna say before you put the scripture. Not only, not only you got like watch and read. You have like congregational events. Yeah, that's right. You, know, yeah. so you got you got the, the escape days. Mm -hmm. Right. You got all this yes. to bring your child and, and be around men of understanding, be around other children. You know, even little uh, events we have for the children. Mm -hmm. All of that is put in place, but by you acting a certain way, you hinder your own child. That's it. So, Damn, so right. just so just like that little first video we seen the little girl. She hadn't been seeing her mama get his phone and put it up, prop it up, and did dance in front of it. Right. right. But what if she had been seeing her mama getting a righteous dress and put it on? Mm. Getting, ready to, getting ready to go to the feast days. Getting ready to come to the Sabbath. So when she that come across her mind, she go in her room or whatever and find her little righteous dress and drag it out there and say, Mama, I want to put yeah, this ready. on. Yeah, yeah. You understand ready. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how we teach our children. That's right. But they see us doing certain things. Believe it or not, your action shows a lot. You read yeah. First Samuel chapter two. I know you read off of you hooking up. I'm, I'm good. First I'm good. Samuel chapter two, man. We got we got. I got another video I need to play. Uh, Officer Samuel found it, and in reference what you was talking about earlier. So yes, we're sir. gonna pull that out. All right, play that. Uh, read that scripture, and then we're gonna play this video here. Read that scripture. First Samuel two and two. Yes. The book of First Samuel chapter two, verse two. Uh -huh. There is none holy as the Lord. For there's none besides thee. Is that First Samuel 2, two and 2? 2 and 3. 2 and 3. three. three. Verse 3. Talk no more exceeding proudly. So we do a lot of talking. We do a lot of yang, 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 yang. <laughs> Keep reading. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Read. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. So our actions is what reigns supreme, what we do. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see the little girl doing what she's seen her mama do. If her mama was keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, not just talking it, but actually doing it, we'll see this. And that's what that's the way we gotta help raise our children. All right, give me the, play me that video. I'm gonna let then I gotta let Officer Hoop come on and get something. Play that video. Uh this is what he was referring to earlier. And if we don't put a a guideline in front of our children, this is what they say. Play that. against our rights you say we all lead lives you can't respect but you're just frightened you think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked funny just this once you're correct we'll convert your children Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He said, we'll convert your children yeah. bit by bit, mm -hmm. quietly and subtly. Uh, yeah. They ease it in. Now, this is the agenda yes, of sir. the devil the Bible speak of. But you see the boldness of this demon? Say, yeah, we're going to do this because they have a plan. And if we don't have a plan of action to protect our children, to teach them God's law, statutes, commandments, guess what? He right. He right. Hey. He right. Hey. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, go back. Go back. <laughs> we were just mentioning it. <laughs> go back to the to where they got all of them on screen. Go back. And this is, is how they do. All right. Now, zoom. Go put that on the thing. Now, zoom in. Okay. Now, you see it's a couple of chocolate color faces on there, right? But look at the one with that fourth row down 
Fifth row down. Fifth row down. <laughs> Go over to the right. Right there. Right there. Zoom in on that. No, sir. They can't do it. They can't, they can't zoom, zoom. in. But look. Just tell us about it. it? The, 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 the guy to be the most flamboyant one right on here. there. He stand out. Stand out. I see earrings swinging. You look ashy in that jump. Why you look like that? I don't know. He's oh, like, oh, he's, a, he's an ashy you know black <laughs> Negro. <laughs> but that's the thing. Why is it that whenever they do get one of us in that mind frame, we got to go big? We got to be most flamboyant thing because they push that on our people. And they say, you know what? Go big or go home. Right. And then that, and that's what you see. <laughs> I just wanted to give the, uh, Revelation 18 verse 4 Bring it out Because because the, the, the devil You know they say they, they come for our children You know they doing all these evil works upon the earth And he said bit by bit That's mm -hmm. what he said yep. Read that The book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 Bring it out And I heard another voice from heaven saying Come out of her my people That you be not partakers of her of her sins. So that's the message to our people, the children of Israel. Come out of the ways of America that you don't be partakers of this LGBTQ plus that's stuff. It. Lord told us to come out of this. Go ahead. Because why read? And that you receive not of her plagues. Because plagues is coming to this place. Read. For her sins have reached unto heaven. That's what he was saying. That bit by bit by bit by bit. You you keep on bidding and your sins gonna get up to the the the, the, the Almighty's doorstep. <laughs> And you're going to knock on it, and he going to answer. Read. And God have remembered her iniquity. And God going to remember all you did to get to that point. That's why he tell us to come out of it before he get to that point. Read. Reward, reward her even as he rewarded you. Go ahead. And double unto her, double according to her, according to her works. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. This place going to get what they did to us in slavery. The law say double it. So, yeah, you keep on building your sins up little by little by little, but eventually they're going to get up there and the Lord going to answer and he's going to send hell fire right here to America and he's going to burn all those sodomites up. He's going to burn them up. So the Lord told us to come out of that. Don't be partakers of that. And for all you, for all you, you, you silly folks who be so worried about them damn Edomites, he said, my people. Right. He didn't say everybody. That's right. He said, come out of her, my people. He talked right. to that one actually black man. That's, 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 that's who he talked yeah. to. Come out of that. Yeah, he said, my people. So just remember that, man. That's all I got. But then, you know what's crazy? You pay attention to that video. It's a whole conglomerate of grown adult men talking grown, about getting grown. your kids. <laughs> yeah, grown, grown men talking about getting your kids. It's all about pedophilia. That's the whole thing. That's the whole agenda. So we watch the video. They talk about the agenda. <laughs> They put it out there. A lot of people took it as a joke, but that thing coming to pass with that YouTube kid with all that mm -hmm. queer corner stuff. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got. I seen a video you just put Can up. Can we I just want, look at that real quick, or you, right, you got I, something? I want. No, go ahead. I want you to play that one. Well, that's enough of that video. There, we you, man, yeah, listen. Yeah, we <laughs> we, we done with to you it for too long anyway. All right, all right like put this. that other video up. I seen Officer Rogers put up. Um, I'm gonna put a tag on it, and um, I want to see that. And I seen it earlier. And I never did get a chance to to play that thing, so I'm finna put it up right there. Can we start with a? T it's a TikTok video. Yeah, this the one. That's the one I want right there. That um, yeah, the TikTok. I just put it up. I just put it up. It's the last one down now. Cause this thing go. It's this the internet stuff. The internet it's got deep. Right. It's deep. Yeah, right. It's Rabbit deep. Hole. And the, the, the different yeah. the the effects from it on a, on us is damn. I hate to use this word. Man, infinite. Yeah, cause I, I've seen some videos to uh uh, uh in real life. Well, a child has a phone, and I'm talking about with Pampers on. And if you take that phone from that child, that child will pass smooth out Lose. and lay Damn. on the ground and kick and buck. I've <laughs> seen this. Yeah. I want to get down on the floor with the child and go to <laughs> bucket and kick him right with him and see how they act then. I'm going to lay down right beside you and go to kick it and bucket. If I see this, this garbage again, we, right. it's going down. You ain't running nothing. <laughs> but it all goes back to play the video, man. Play the video. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you this dude. Go this ahead. What they create? This what they create? Now, now you got it. This, this, no, this, no. This, go this, ahead. Go ahead, man. Play that thing. These iPad kids getting out of control. <laughs> knock out. knock out. Wait a minute. 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 Wait a I ain't got nothing. I didn't knock him straight upside the I'm sorry. I just been all the way out. I'm, 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 from, I'm from a time not too long ago where, where 
If, if I ever would to dare do that, my mouth would be zipped up real quick. Man, what you talking about? <laughs> Listen. You're looking for your teeth. It's, right. It's wild out here. Play, just, play, just look at them. Just get a glimpse of this because this is what you creating. You get your kids in my pack. When you get a little older, you know, they, they two and three now. As you mm. get about seven, eight, nine, ten. Play it. This is what you get. These you iPad kids me. getting out of control. Keep playing. Look what he's doing. Look at him. Look at him every time he's trying to take him. He is hitting this man. Jump right. Go, go forward, okay? Now imagine you can stop him. Now imagine what that translates to when he comes turns 15. The devil. Bang, bang, bang. Getting shot up Grim Yeah. You know, there's yep. studies on this, and that's why I want to show just a, like a minute of that next video off. Let, let me pull the scripture. Sirach 30 and start at verse 8. Sirach 30 and start at verse 8. And listen, man, we're going to read what the Bible says. That's this, right, man. We're going to read what the Bible says. <laughs> that's, that's all we got to go off of is these scriptures. Man, um, and I, I always use this example, you know, the guideline, and a lot of time our people don't have this guideline, and that's what we see a lot of our people in this situation. <laughs> And our guideline, uh, what's to go by is God's law, statutes, and commandments, which is written down in this Bible. That's what we have. We got to come back and keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's, that's how we cure our culture. Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 30, verse 8. Uh -huh. And the horse not broken, but come of head strong. So the scripture said, a horse, if you don't break a horse, I don't know if any, yeah, I'm from the country, so I know about breaking a horse. Because when you catch a wild horse, you can't ride that dude. No, you got to break it. You got you to gotta get him conform to the ways that you would have him to go. Right, that's right. And it takes time, and you have to break him. So read that scripture again. And, and horse not broken become of headstrong. So if you didn't leave him out in the pasture by himself, running free, it becomes what? Headstrong. Headstrong. The same way, and this is an analogy, and I don't pray to the most high. Um, our, our forefathers, they were so immersed in information, they dealt with things according to their time. Yes, uh, at this time, somebody would be able to understand, oh, because they got horses. So they would understand that, hey, yeah, if I leave that horse out there, it become headstrong, so I need to break them. Our forefathers knew this, and they related information to each other by things that they can readily see. That's what I thought. They were, they were just sharp. Keep reading. And a child left to himself will be, will be willful. So it goes from a horse that can be headstrong you leave him by itself. Now it's comparing that to a child. Mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't put him in his place or give him the instructions that he need to have, he's going to become what? Willful. He's going to become willful. Keep reading. Conquer thy child. It said conquer thy child, read. And he shall make thee afraid. What he gonna do? He shall make thee afraid. What we seen on the video, the brother's kind of trying to get in there and get the, the um, iPad from the baby, what the baby was doing? Slapping his hand. Slapping his hand. Fight. Slapping his hand. Yeah. Hollering and stuff. Like what are you is. hollering like that for? When he opened his mouth up and hollered that first time, <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> But he should have woke up in, in the emergency room. We should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'll pray to the most high. Hey, man, listen. We're not telling y'all to beat your children, but we're going to tell you what the scriptures say. Now keep reading. Play with him, and he shall bring thee to heaviness. What did he say? He shall bring thee to heaviness. He's going to bring thee to heaviness. Keep reading. Laugh not with him. Uh-huh. Lest thou sorrow with him. Uh-huh. And lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. So us as parents, we can't play with our kids. We not our kids' friends. We that disciplinarian. Right. We the father. We the mother. We not the child's right. friend. And a lot of times, and you see this in a lot of single households, especially single parents, uh, might be the mother that have a child. They That child becomes their friend. And then, like, we was at camp one time, and I don't know, y'all y'all remember the video? Yeah, I remember that video. And this woman said that her nine-year-old son was the man of the house. Was the man of the house. Mm -hmm. Wayne, no I Wayne, remember Wayne. that. And that's what our people is doing, and that's what that's what. Read the scripture again. Laugh not. Laugh not with him, uh -huh. lest lest I have sorrow with him. And it's not saying don't laugh, don't have a good time with your church. It's not saying that, but you don't put them in a position of being uh, in rulership, and that's what we see our people doing. They get control, and they don't need that control because that's a child. They don't even understand the things of life that you may understand. They don't understand that, so we got to let them stay in their place. Keep reading. And lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. And that's what'll happen. You're gonna be gnashing your teeth at the end because they're in jail somewhere. Mm -hmm. Or they don't they don't hurt somebody, somebody don't hurt them because you didn't put those guidelines on those children. Keep reading. 
Give him no liberty in his youth. And his youth, read. And wink not at his folly. And wink not at his folly. Don't, if that child does something wrong, beat that behind it. It's going to show you how to do it. Keep reading. Bow down his neck while he is young. Uh huh. And beat him on the side. And do, and do what? Beat him on his sides. Keep reading. Beat him on the, on the sides while he is a child. Why he's a child? Because once that child get too old, those whoopings ain't going to do nothing for him. He going to be so used to getting them whoopings right. that he going to be like, hey, man, listen, you done yet? You done yet? And he might try to he might try to square up on you. That little boy look like he want to square up on right. him. Keep reading. Lest he wax stubborn. He wax what? Stubborn. Stubborn. Keep reading. And be disobedient unto thee. He going to do what? And be disobedient unto thee. Read. And shall bring sorrow to thine heart. Read. Chast- chastise thy son and hold him to labor. Let his lewd behavior be an offense unto thee. So that's what happened, bro. And we got to keep our children in line, teach them God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's all the way out. All pre- that's hey, right. There are videos right now, like you say, what that child turned into, where you there are teenage children jumped on their mamas, tore up the house, just wreaked, wreaked havoc. They got videos where they took their phones. Mm. They try to discipline him. And guess what? That teenage young man, mama, he too big for mama. And he tearing up the house. He throwing mama around. It's video. That little boy is videos of what kind of monster he turned into. Hey, hey, can I can I pull up that? Can you pull up that picture real quick that I just posted to go along with the point? Uh, officer brought up in Ciroc. I, I just posted it. it it's, it's from the, uh, the Willie Lynch. To show you, Satan... Like like when the, when when the devil came to Christ, right? Satan has some understanding of scriptures, right? So when you read Sirach thirty and verse eight, it, it compares a child to a horse, right? Right. right. Or it used that similar to right. Read that. Read right there where it says train, that fourth line. Yes, sir. R- read that. This is so th- this is Willie Lynch making up a slave. So it spoke about a female horse. Read that. Train the female horse will buy it. She will eat out of your hand. So. By you breaking that female horse, you had to one of the one of the the uh, the results of that she would eat out your hand, right? Get up to that point, read. And she will in turn train the infant horse to be. She will in turn train the infant horse to eat out of your hand. So she gonna train her infant horse that she has to do the exact same thing as the mother. So it's the daughter, right? Wow. Read them. When it comes to break the uncivilized nigger. The uncivilized nigger, what? Use the same process. You see that? Use the same process. The That's this? the dangers of the internet. That's right. how they use the same process. So they don't have to physically do it now. They say, okay, give them this phone with uh with with with, with uh Cardi B. Give them the, the Christian church. Give them give them uh the, the LGBTQ kids YouTube. Damn. Give them all that. When it comes to the, the 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 Negro use the same process you would do for a female horse. Read on. But vary in degree. Go ahead. And step up the pressure so as to do a complete reversal of the mind. A complete reversal of the mind to where early on in the show, you want to be a woman, but have sex with a woman. That's crazy. But you were made. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. So that's crazy. same thing. And that's the dangers of the internet. Bruh. We, you know, we're going to have to do a part two to this, man. We're going to have to do a part two to this. Oh, saying, yeah. two to this. There's just so much it's information it. out there. This is very important that we, we get these things understood on how to move forward, man, because it's this it's 2024, that's what they call it, 24. Yes, right. 2024 is what they say. They constantly coming out ways to 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 – Mess us up to kill our culture. So I'm gonna let y'all get a few more scriptures, and we are gonna shut it down. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You have some. Go ahead. You gonna wait till next week? Yeah, I'm gonna wait till next week because that, that's yeah. Go let me, let me. Hey, I just sent y'all a video. I I just want to play this video with this dude talking about the dangers of the internet. All praise, all praise. This is good. This is good. I I seen this. This is this is good, man. It, it just goes. It gives show, a lot of information. Yeah, yeah. The the, the dangers of social. The media last one he just put up. He just said, "Play it." Is it downloading? Or y'all got it ready? Or what's up? If not, we gonna. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's downloading. Or y'all got it ready? There you go. Y'all play that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. A young age, like that phone creates so much mental illness across the board, no matter what age it is. If you really think about it, it can be traced back to that. And like I was saying, the world that we live in where 
you feel more isolated and what you see online is obviously fake and the highlights of people's lives and a lot of it is just set up it's not even real mm -hmm. and like that's what you have to compare your own life to that person who you're watching that isn't even their real life their body doesn't even look hey like hold, that. Up, hold up They're hold so up hold up hold up y'all y'all hear this right yes y'all see esau is putting this information out there their tongue is falling on them now. that's right <laughs> and they showing you that listen what you seeing are actually highlights of somebody else's life. Mm. It's not their real life. Right. Like you, you, like sometimes you'll see people post pictures of their food, and then they post this and post that. It's only highlights. It's not their real life. You understand? Then even if they got some uh, videos of people, they gonna show. I'm gonna show you what a day in my life may be like. They showed it. How they got the camera set up when they getting out of the bed? It's all yeah. They done, they done, they done got all in the script. bed. This is all script. This is a TV show. But you thinking this is real. Wow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't play the video, man. They're so f***ed up by social media that they're like, I have to make sure my body looks perfect. You have to take a thousand pictures and then I'm going to edit the best one even. To, and then I'm going to put it out. They're also perpetuating... All of these, like, thi and, like, we're all doing this, you know? Like, we're all hurting each other. Yeah. So it's 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 so hard, and like she was saying, it almost feels like it's a, a losing battle. It's like, hey, hey, the, see, the hey, answer is, like, flush your phone. Stop for a second. And see, now, you know, earlier we've been talking about how they use it to attack the kids. But guess what? They're attacking you grown folks, too. Mm, this is part of the attack of, on you grown folks. Because guess what? That say, like he say, that 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 man or woman that you see standing next to that million dollar car, that ain't their damn car. Right. They don't want that's, that's, that's a piece of cardboard they got looking like a car. That's <laughs> yeah. really a real car, man. <laughs> it's a move. It's, I mean, it's yeah. BS. So they're the going on a, they're, you know, T.I. owns luxury, luxury car rental service. Right. And the problem that he had was people was walking up on their lot, posing on the cars. <laughs> taking the pictures way, of the cars as if that was theirs, you know, and that's what people do. They'll see a random car parked down on the road on the side of the street and just pose up on it, taking car, taking pictures. Right. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah, so okay. you under attack too, grown folks. It ain't just your children. They have you thinking that that life is going one way for them. You know what? I'm gonna do what they're doing, and next thing you know, damn, that was a damn lie. And they made a skitter that one time when somebody was taking a picture of somebody caught and they let the window down. They were still in it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't find that suspicious? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's all I got off. That's all oh, I got. Pray. Listen, I'm going to pull the scripture down. We're going to get up out of here. Give me now 1 Timothy chapter 6, man. Um, yeah, 1 Timothy chapter 6, start at verse 6, man. Hey, listen, we're going to do a part two to this. And some of these videos we didn't even finish up, but um, we only have a... A short amount of time that we gon we gon we gonna allot ourselves. So I pray to the Most High. Uh, pull that uh, pull the scripture, bro. The Book of First Timothy, chapter six, verse six. Uh -huh. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Uh huh. For we brought nothing into this world. The scripture say we brought nothing into this world. Read. And it's certain we can carry nothing out. Listen, we can't carry nothing out. And like Officer Baruch was bringing out, you know, a lot of they attacking us also. Especially like when you see these people with these big houses or whatever from the internet. And then our kids see that. Then they do things to get that. Yeah. And that causes them to get in trouble and things of that nature because it's producing a mindset. It's producing dopamines in the brain that mm. feel good. And then they come outside the house and try to live that life. Yep. Instead of coming outside the house, climb a tree, do some jump roping. Use their brain. Yep. Hopscotching. I, you know, yes, just, just things that we done as youth that actually gave us some coordination, that gave you know us those type of dopamines that we would need to have. Uh, and uh, the dude said that um, imagination was an app right. on the <laughs> phone. How? How do we get to this point? How do we get here? You did. We walking dead. Bro, you're not doing the things that make us like alive. You know, what I'm saying? like like I said, using your brain. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's it. Finish reading the scripture, bro. That, that was it. Awesome. Keep reading. Verse 8. And having food and raiment, let us, let us be there with content. So it says having food and raiment. We got to start to be content with that. Not those extra things that we see on the internet. Man. That have you wishing forever. You forever wishing for something. 
and then you start to do those things that to take to get those things, and then you don't keep reading. It's gonna tell you. But they that will be rich. So they that will be rich, meaning I'm seeking to be this way, read. Fall into temptation. What they do? Fall into temptation. Fall into temptation. Keep reading. And a snare. A, a what? A snare. A snare. You fall into a snare. It's hard to get out of a snare. Keep reading. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Many foolish and hurtful lusts. And we see our children chasing these dreams, chasing this whatever bag it may be. And they fall into many foolish and hurtful love. Keep reading. Was drown men in destruction and perdition. What it do? Was drown men in destruction and perdition. But then we get drowned behind that thing. Keep reading. For the love of money is the root of all evil. So the scriptures say the love of money is the root of all evil. So we, the scripture didn't say that money itself was evil. Right. But when that pursuit that you have, that you hurt yourself with many hurtful lusts trying to get it. Because it's all passing away. It's all passing away. Message. So, y'all got anything else before we get up out of here, man? No, no sir. sir. All praise to the Most High God, man. Uh, great show today. I think it was a great show, man. Yes, what y'all think, bro? Yes, sir. To praise be continued. Bro, we're going to do a part two on this because all the internet, praise. man, is, is, man, listen. The devil. Yeah, it's a lot of harmful <laughs> things dealing with the internet. But the scripture tell us, you know, we got to use this world, not abusing it. We got to be able to use this world because it's, right. it's all passing away. It's all passing away, but while we got this opportunity, right. let's make sure we push this truth. That's right. That, that That's our right. people come back and keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, other than this other BS that it could be right. used for us. We got to right. flood the internet. Every time you see somebody say, share this and do that and do right. that, flood it. That, That's, that, right. that, that's another thing, too. Uh, some of y'all on TikTok, some of y'all on uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, you see um, our bishops posting stuff. Like, share that thing. That's right. Push it out there. There's no reason that that, that our bishop shouldn't be getting millions of likes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, share, and comment that thing. Uh, matter of fact, subscribe to IUIC Mississippi Burn. <laughs> right. Subscribe right. to that thing, man. Yes, sir. Hey, pull up our credentials, bro. Want to send donations? Send donations to Israel United in Christ, P.O. Box 13601, Jackson, Mississippi, 39206. 236. Or via PayPal, IUIC Jackson, Mississippi, or Jackson MS at IsraelUnite.org. Okay. All praises to the Most High God. Listen, man, um, uh, every Saturday, um, we're at 727 Gallatin Street, Jackson, Mississippi, 39204. I I'm, I'm your host, Officer Obadiah, to my right. Officer Baruch. To my left. Officer Zariah. To my far right. I was the hose down. To my far left. I'll see you who can Hey, man, we the host and crew of Cure the Culture. Culture. All yeah. praise to the Most High God. Shalom. Nation is 
FM.